best Netflix original series. Netflix is a cultural worst trash test. In addition to being a revolution of the way we watch movies and television, it's a prestige factory that's helping to bring Oscar quality entertainment to your home. And it's massive enough to be whatever you need it to be at whatever time you need it. Seven years after House of Cards changed our perceptions of what streaming content could look like, Netflix has amassed a library of more than a hundred original series, and that's only counting the English language stuff. Keep watching this video to know which we have included in our list. Number 1. Russian Doll 2019 Nadia, Natasha Lyon, who also co-created the series, is a game developer stuck in a time loop that keeps killing her and depositing her back at her own birthday party. If you roll your eyes at Groundhog Day situations, roll them back because this incredibly inventive take from Leon, Leslie Headland, and Amy Fowler is deeply funny, strange, sad, and celebratory all at once. One woman's existential crisis is our binge-worthy content. As a bonus, Harry Nilsson's Gotta Get Up will be permanently stuck in your brain. Number 2. Dear White People 2017 Based on his also excellent 2014 feature, Justin Simeon takes us back to prestigious Winchester University, where social justice bard Samantha White Logan Browning navigates the growing pains of collegiate romance and friendship while trying to make her classmates recognize the social divisions at their school. Through three seasons, with the forthcoming in 2020, the show has faithfully delivered outrageous humor with its singular blend of satire and soap opera. Number 3. Glow 2017 Anchored by Alison Brie, Betty Gilpin, and a stellar ensemble cast, Glow follows a group of women who launch a wrestling show backed by a trust fund kid and a cranky cult horror director brilliantly played by Mark Maron. It scored laughs from how awkward everything was early on, but the show really sailed when Brie and her cohorts began to fully own the weird, wonderful spandex assault that they were creating. Now it's about keeping that show, their group, and their personal lives intact. Number 4. I Think You Should Leave with Tim Robinson, 2019 Tim Robinson is a Saturday Night Live alum whose sketch show couldn't be further from that mainstay's sensibilities. Where SNL is the McDonald's of comedy, I Think You Should Leave is the hole-in-the-wall place only you and your friends love because it keeps changing the menu with new dishes you can't get anywhere else. It's fair to call the show outlandish, but its comic brilliance stems from the simplicity of its setups and the deranged lengths that the characters go to in order to stick with that premise. Learn nothing else and dive in. Number 5. Bojack Horseman 2014 to 2020 It's a silly cartoon show here to make you think about death and get sad and stuff. Like emo music for grown-ups, Raphael Bob Waxberg and Lisa Hanawalt's brilliant series focuses on the addiction, self-loathing and career envy of its titular anti-hero as he attempts to crawl out of the cheesy 80s sitcom stardom of his past and into something more respected. No other show can get away with this many animal puns while exploring the depths of despair that result from trying to fill a bottomless pit in your soul. Number 6. Master of None 2015 Alora. Although it has dipped its toe into experimentation, Aziz Ansari and Alan Yang's relationship comedy works largely because of the likability of Dev Shah, its main character played by Ansari. It's buoyant and feels like you're hanging out with friends, but fair warning, it will make you deliriously hungry for pasta. Number 7. Sex Education 2019 Plenty of high school comedies have focused on how awkward sex and romance is for high schoolers. But this fantastic show from Lori Nunn wanted to raise the stakes by making the young, sexually ambivalent main character's mom a sex therapist. In another ingenious move, they hired Gillian Anderson to play that sex therapist mom, and she delivers all the frank, embarrassing talk you could possibly ask for. So what happens when the insecure son of a sex therapist starts his own sex therapy side hustle to help his high school friends? An excellent, empathetic series that uses its laughs as a release. Number 8. Sense8 2015-2018 to 
Eight strangers living all over the world discover they are emotionally connected to each other. They can feel what others in their cluster are feeling and can communicate with each other despite physical separation. Teaming with comic book and screenwriter J. Michael Straczynski, the Wachowskis have pulled another big thing sci-fi rabbit out of their hat with this globe-trotting thriller that's never met a third rail issue it didn't want to explore. When they're not running from a mysterious entity bent on their destruction, the fascinatingly diverse crew of connected characters break down everything you're not supposed to talk about at the dinner table. So maybe we should be talking about them around the dinner table. Number 9. Orange is the New Black 2013-2019 one of Netflix's original originals is still one of its best. Jen Jai Cohen found a perfect follow-up to Weeds with his adaptation of Piper Kerman's memoir about a young suburban woman going to a minimum security prison. The fish-out-of-water comedy, drama, and horror only lasts as long as it takes for the show to blossom into a gorgeous, emotional roller coaster that shines the spotlight on all of its women from the surly cook Red, Kate Mulgrew, to the sweet, troubled, crazy eyes, Uzo Aduba, to humanize them beyond the personas they adopt to survive. The show is a hilarious, self-peeling onion, tears and all. Number 10. Astronomy Club 2019 Within the first two minutes of Astronomy Club, a talking garlic bulb shoots a gun at Dracula and shouts, "Trina, get his money in 2020, baby. Fortunately, it gets weirder. This sketch show from some Upright Citizens Brigade alums is framed around a fake reality show that wisely lets us get to know these new performers while mocking every real-world descendant and the cast themselves. The comedy ranges from self-aware and absurdist to straightforward and even socially conscious, and it all bends together smoothly. A one-of-a-kind winner.